Hi, my name is Pindi Wefeldane. I am a social entrepreneur who runs a company called Mbasane Women in IT. This is a company that focuses on upskilling unemployed IT graduates. I've been in IT for the past 25 years. So I have been there, I understand the struggles. I understand that when you finish your degree, you don't have it all. And having worked in the corporate environment, I realized that there is a gap that needs to be bridged between what you get from varsity and what the industry is looking for. So what we do is we look at what the industry is looking for. We have an end game in mind where we look at the client and see what they are looking for and then upscale the graduates. Uh, the, the, the idea is for them to be employable in the end or start their own businesses. And because of that part of businesses, it's also linked to startups. And then we get to work for companies that are looking for to upscale their uh, small businesses. That is where we do uh, skills development for small businesses that are startups and just with, give them with the basic skills. My achievements in business is seeing the end result, the impact of what we do. When that graduate gets into the corporate environment and they perform well, and the clients are saying, thank you, that for me is a sense of achievement because we know that what we have done, we have achieved and we've given the companies what they're looking for. And the thing is, we're not just focusing on technical and digital skills. We look at honing these graduates so that they are better people in terms of their business etiquette, the general etiquette that's needed in business. Nobody teaches you that. So we fill that gap and make sure that we build on their soft skills as well. Uh, I've been in IT for so many years. I never aspired to be a programmer when I started working. But when I started working, that was the job that I got. And I, I spent seven and a half years behind the laptop. And for me, that was like, wow, this is not what I ever, ever imagined for myself. And for now, for me now, it's more of going back and looking at how, do I, how did I achieve what I did and how did I get to be where I was when I left the corporate at an executive level. So that path for me was a good path, even though in hindsight, I didn't think it was. So because of that, it's easy for me to understand what these graduates are looking for. What is it that they don't, they are not equipped with, bridge that gap. Being a small business and uh, knocking at those doors, making people understand how different you are from others making sure that they understand why you are doing what you're doing. And because I love what I do, for me it works when I tell my clients that this is what we do. Uh, instead of writing a proposal that is not going to tell the person the story behind it. So I believe when people hear my story, then they understand why I'm doing it. So the challenge is getting to that person who will listen to you. And I must say, when they do listen, then I, 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 get, I put my foot in the door. So that's how I've, I've managed to maneuver within the business uh, to get that appointment, to sit in front of the client and share my story, tell them what is it that we want to achieve. My goal is to build the business. I believe there is a lot that is needed out there for these young graduates and the SMMEs or startups. Uh, and somebody has to do it. A lot of us are needed. A lot of us, there is, I mean, the, the, the cake is big enough. We can all share the cake and all of us need to do something. If we're thinking and saying there's a skills gap, there are no women in IT, the numbers are low, what are we doing about it? So for me is to grow the business and empower as many women as I can. So that is why it's all about women in IT. You know, when I get a chance to stand in front of any um, audience, being the young graduates or being the startups, I say you need to see and appreciate where you are and then you can build on that. There's a lot out there that's happening. People are so angry, people don't have jobs. People hide their certificates just to set their, their foot on the door. And then when they are inside, that anger comes out. So I say, show the people what you can do. Show them what you have. Because when you walked in, you accepted that job as you are. So now do better. That is when I get an opportunity to run programs for companies that have already employed people. And then you find that their performance or rather their attitude is not 
up to up to scratch so what i say to them is that you accepted the job you knew that this job is not what you would like to do but shine where you are and then you will go far no one is going to notice you if you are grumpy no one is going to notice you if you are not happy if you don't look happy and your certificate is with hr nobody else knows that you have a diploma or you have a degree so do the best where you are and then you can move from there I spend a lot of time watching my son who plays sport and I that takes me away from the working environment and I get to to be a mother and I also like walking uh, because I feel when I walk I get to think I have I get to uh, come up with solutions to the problems that I wouldn't have come up for when I'm sitting at home so doing the walks and being in touch with the nature that uh, gives me a sense of peace and I, I enjoy it. This is a great opportunity. As women in business, we want to be known, we want to be seen, we want to be acknowledged. And we want to be acknowledged not because we're women, but because of what we do. So this for us as women in, in, in business, it is a great opportunity to be out there and show people, showcase our work in a way, and then get people to respect us. Thank you.